Hello, I am Fjallspak and we are back in Tyranny. I have tried this fight a couple of times last episode and we lost horribly, so I guess we'll go again and resting is going to be step number one. And then I should probably have a look at our inventory to see if there's anything we really could use in our party stash and all that. So, quest items, we have that one. Actually, what are you having all on to? Potion of Revival. Guess we can hang on to that one there for a while. Die Remedy. Stasis Shield for 15 seconds, health. Guess we can put that to use somewhere. Skycap. Lore. I'm not tremendously important, I guess. Weapons. I believe I've checked weapons and didn't have anything significantly better of any sort. Where's the square around these two? Right, this better armor, but or something else. I'm not sure what is better or not. Oh, it just seems worse. Seems that my character is reasonably well equipped. Don't know about you. Unarmed DPS. That's not gonna be tremendously useful when you don't fight unarmed. Vendrian Guard. I don't think you will use Vendrian Guard stuff. That just seems wrong. Yeah, you can't really use any armor because you have your special things. Actually, you could put that one there. You have maybe uh, something we could use for you. And it looks like most things are... Yeah, very same as the other characters. Right. Potions. Potions of Revival. I guess you can give you one of those. What is this? We'll revive and defeat it. Taken before falling unconscious, the spores of walking death mushroom guaranteed to revive the empire with a faction of their full health. Wait for a while. Dunno. What are you? Accessories. Spire. Scroll and hide. And other. Alright, so that didn't really help us tremendously much. Alright. Let's well, walk on in here. Don't remember exactly what conversations options we took last time around. Remember, it's a reasonably tough fight. Uh, okay, go through those just again. What did I do here? What did you hope to gain from the rebellion? I think I actually went with that one. Uh, I think I went with number two. Any last words? I think I definitely went with that one, and the voices in a rat. Right, so, 
You are hurting us, you are hurting us. So if we take, concentrate on the archer here. Why are you doing that? Okay, I don't know why exactly, but you are. We're gonna go at this archer here. Ow. Right, so do we have a combination with Barrack here? We do, let's use that right now. That's been used. Like so, Barrack. Oh, versus in trouble already. Darn it. Well, I guess you'll have to use that one. Unlike. Or you should not just shoot shooting at that guy, okay. Greater revival, I guess you're gonna do that. Oh, and Barrick is now fighting this guy instead of the archer here. Darn it! And now you're shooting there. No, no, you shoot here. You actually leveled up, that was good timing. Oh, you're still shooting at that guy. Now we have to go there. I will aid you. Still doing stuff against that guy, that's excellent. Alright. Okay, so the archer went down. My character, I should go here. So, guess we'll do that one against you. Right. Going at the sage here. Are we going at the sage? Okay, you three are on this guy here, that's fine I guess. Oh, are you down now? Yeah, you are. Darn it, or almost at least. Oh, this weapon. I'm going down. Yeah, there you went. Why is my character not moving up close? Right. 
Ne işte istedim Thank you, Sky. Oh, come on. As you command. from this guy, all right. Hopefully you're not too tough on hit points, so we can take you down. But now we have the numbers advantage. On it. Yeah, you're almost gone. Reputation ability unlocked. Unnerving presence. Did I always have this much blood? Uh, we got this. Yeah, we got this. Oh, and then the squabbling units come in afterwards. Ah, uh, Tarkis Ari, you are worthless gnats. May we we may die, but others will follow our example. Mark my words. The captain coughs up blood. Fifth eye, crush them, crush them all. The fifth eye battle cry fall, falls flat as he surveys the room littered with Vendry and guard bodies. Now that now that's how it's done. A fate binder. You should. I should be angry with you. Deny me a scalp or two, but. I want to thank you for saving us the trouble. Uh, okay, so I'm honored to have a hand in your glory. I'm sure your Archon will be pleased that I managed to do your job for you or betray Alliance. Now you arrive, I shall blood to take Ascension Hall. This place, the Spire, the Valley, it's mine. All of you be gone. Um, I don't think I'll take number three one, but that sounds interesting. Uh, I guess I'm honored. Just you know, play safe for now. You bring glory to the chorus with your skills and armors and courage under duress. The fifth eye chuckles wickedly under his mask. I do so hope that this is the start of a long mill alliance. Good fate by the chorus should benefit from your strength. Yeah, you are. Hmm. Not really. The party has received liberating hand wraps. Is that an item? Okay. May Pox take your children. Arya slumps to the to a crouch, her body trembling from injury and fatigue. With those words of defeat, the burning hum that you hear in your head for days since the end tapers off into nothing your mind returns to a state of quiet you have not felt since before you proclaimed the edict upon vengeance well I a claim to ascension hall let's be free of this edict and with that car's edicts of execution should be, be no more I guess I'll say that you feel a thug in your chest the warm energy energy being begins to form around you and before you know it you feel as you are lighter than air Some abilities allow party members to attack multiple times with basic attacks. Okay, what's going on here? We're teleporting somewhere? Another achievement. There's two achievements so far. 
You blink away the last luminescent trails in your field vision. The masonry of Ascension Hall is replaced with a wide open space in every direction, save for the slab of an ancient stone beneath your feet. High winds shove you, pushing you off balance. The air is cool and thin, unsatisfying to your lungs. Landry. This is. Landry looks out on the horizon, wide eyed light with excitement. Yes, this must be the mountain spire. When was the last time? Lantry's eyes look down on the ledge, dumbstruck by the vertical plunge. Lantry backs away from the edge. I may need to reach. Wretch. Oh, uh, puking, I think that what it means. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. Uh, worse, this is certainly a change. The wind ruffles the feathers in her hair, and worse, quickly smooths down, smooths them down. Damn cold change. She peers over the edge. I think I can land on my feet if I jumped. Not that it will matter for long. Barrick, Kairos, be merciful. What now? Barrick spins around on his feet, looking for about, trying to take as much as he can to the narrow visor of his helmet. Everywhere you look, mountains rise up in distant horizon. The rivers and forests below bring to mind the maps of Vengeance's Well, and you quickly trace the Montani, the Irnev, and all the numerous waterways of the region. Higher than you imagine it, this is indeed the pinnacle of the spire at Vendrian's Well. And uh, Tarkis Ari, how did we get all the way up here? Ari stand, strains to stand up, clutching her side. Uh, fifth Eye, more importantly, how do we get down? The Fifth Eye aims a sharp glare at Ari. The Vendrian Guard must be rounded up and conscripted. The Disfavored must be run down. This favor must not be run down because that would just be awful, I think. As much as I would like to relish the opportunity to fight along this favor right now, I cannot begin to imagine the chaos unfolding beneath our feet. Barrack clenches his fist with a squeal of metal and turns away. Okay. I send words to the voice of Narath that we are successful. I hereby claim this place is now an extension of Turan's court. All combatants must leave. Or enough bloodshed for one day. I demand all blades sheath. I don't know. I don't want them to fight amongst themselves. Not at least right now. That much sounds sensible at least. If we're to understand what just happened, we need to drop an anchor on this battle and regroup. And then I demand an amputated concubine and a bejeweled codpiece. You cannot simply or order the chorus to stop fighting. Better luck teaching Graven Ash to smile. Send words to him that we were successful. Our glory overfloweth. We would happily carry such good tidings to the Archon, but this humble servant cannot fly. Besides, the Voices is a master of all matters magical. I highly doubt whatever just happened escaped his attention. Uh, agreed. Anyone witnessing what just happened knows the eating is over, but you should not. But you should report to Nerat and return with any news he has for me. Head through that portal. A point to Ari, we hand her a note. The parchment will survive the impact. Nah, nah, just go and agree, agree to Lantry, no telling how stable it is, but it looks closely at you and seeing images of Ascension Hall into the haze. Well, if you have a trained eyes, that is. Of course, even if it's not stable, the altern alternative is jumping. So what do we have to lose? Fifth Eye by Kairos Iron Grip. How did we? Fifth Eye taps his mask in semblance of a deep thought. The curse of magic glows as fire to her eyes. Strange that you saw this first. Okay, what happened here? I don't really understand this. Or is the portal maybe? Send my compliments to the voices of the wrath, I guess. 
keeping watch of Vendry as well for us. Consider these lands a gift from the Archon of Secrets as well as an act of mutual self-interest. If these lands are court controlled, the law abiding disfavored will think twice about using this valley for a staging ground for fear of offending your master Tunon. It has been a pleasure in the loins to watch you fight, good fate binder. The voices will be most pleased. With edict resolved, our purpose is clearly in focus. The disfavored must be slain. No, don't do that. Eb, oh Eb is still around. I doubt the, the I no doubt I am the very definition of the enemy of the overlord, but I didn't just resist. I lead others into resistance, so I know what is about to happen, but I know when I met my match, and like the most folk, I'll do whatever it takes to live. If you show me mercy, I'll pledge my life to your good fate binder. Yeah, I know you could recruit her. The Tidecaster bows to one knee, lowering her gaze. I know my oathbinder should take my word. So my word isn't what it used to be, but I promise if you spare me, I'll serve you well. Uh, right. I suspect I only can have three party members with me, and I know you can recruit her. Because she's voiced and all that. Why would I possibly trust you? Let's go with that first. Because I'm all out of reasons to fight you. The Vendrian Guard and the School of Tides are no more, leaving me with no loyalties to or ties to, well, anyone. And we must know all bow to Kairos' minions eventually, right? Would I would die before swearing fealty to the voices of Narath and Graven Ash. Would kill me in a heartbeat. If I'm to serve anyone, is this new order? In this new order, it must, it should be and must be the Archon of Justice, and you are the only servant of Tunan I can think to ask. Uh, serve me well and all can be forgiven, I guess. I'm just curious if you can recruit this. If you have... If you will have my fealty is yours, I'm Ebb of the Tidecasters, so I hereby pledge my life and loyalty to Conrad. She dips it from a bow, I will serve and obey as long as you have need of me or want my skills. Party manager, yeah, okay. Party full, worse. Um, what do I do, the drag him or click? Ah, uh, I see. Well, Barrick, even though Be you are fate binder. Thank here, let's see if I can... Alright, Vengeance Vell has fallen. For the second time since the conquest began, Kairos' armies have taken the citadel from its defenders. With your health, the Vendrian Guard rebellion has been crushed. Having taken Ascension Hall with your Scarlet Chorus allies, you satisfy the terms of Edict, and the forces of Kairos are free from the Overlord's death sentence. With the threat of execution no longer looming overhead, the Overlord's armies turn their attention away from the Citadel and toward each other. The tension that flared over the long since but the long siege reached an explosive crescendo as the disfavored and the Scarlet Corps armies clashed iron and bronze in a hasty, disorganized battle. A brief exchange that left his soldiers bloodied, Graven Ash withdrew his army from the valley, pulling the disfavored back into the secure fort in the Blade Grave. Once his army finished licking the wounds, the voices of Narath ordered the Scarlet's chorus to gather in the Stone Sea and prepare for war, this time against their former allies. The Archon of Secrets instructed his soldiers to respect your lawf lawful claims over the Spire, though a few greedily stragglers still lurch in the valley. The Scarlet Chorus were content to leave your stronghold uncontested. As days passed, the wounded and injured were nursed to health. 
You explored your strange bastion and planned your next step with careful deliberation. As word spread that the Scarlet Chorus and the Disfavor turned on each other, factions once resolved to bend the knee are inspiring to continue the fighting. The Archon's feud has heralded the collapse of Kairos' offensive. Yeah. To none, the Archon of Justice observed the chaos and discord spreading across the land. The Archon summons his fate binder to return to the court at the Bastard City and report on his actions in Venture as well. Our pretty squabbles over a delayed siege have no doubt evolved into a respectable civil war. Ravoisus Narat won't want to discuss the matter. By now he's pulled back in the base of Cacophony. I suggest you don't keep him waiting. The last time someone left Voice of Nath waiting, he pulled the skin off their hand and moved their bones into shape of a glaring eye. Needless to say, he didn't heal well. I'll join you at Cacophony as soon as I speak with Tunon, I guess. Do that, Voice of Nath loves to entertain your guests, and I'm sure he'll find you quite diverting. The dissonant energy from the spire falters. Whenever whatever force awoke the powers that reside here, gutters and fades, though a faint hum persists in the sculpture at the center. Fifth eye what? Stepping past the portal almost to the edge of the spire, fifth eye lets out a squeal of panic. My exit vanished, it was just here. Don't know what happened, this is all new to me. Look around for a solution or calm down, I can fix this. Guess I'll look around for a solution. The humming from the curious sculpture pulses and builds in volume as if to draw your attention. Alright. Is this barrack or something? Did I lose barrack? Right, who were you and what what are you on about there? Spire rest bonus. Okay, what is all this? Companion combos improved. Uh, okay. The power you gain by ending Kairos' Edict on Vengeance's Will can be channeled into your combo abilities with your companions. Uh, okay. Fine. Power ending Kairos' Edict on Vengeance's Will has filled you with great little power. This will undoubtedly prove useful as you travel through the tiers. You should investigate the origins of this power and find ways to acquire more. Power, a new bar on your character sheet displays your current level of power. Press C to open your character sheet and view your current level of power. Uh, my character sheet. This thing here, alright. Power 400. Fair enough. Don't know what to do with it exactly, but there it is. Spire, you have acquired your first spire. This spire will be your home base as you adventure through the lands of Kairos tears. Your spire gives you a free location to rest and recover from your travels. As you acquire more spires, you will discover additional functionality. All right. Click on the spire in icon to open your interface or press H. As that this thing here, I see. Oh, I see. Once your character has been dismissed from the party, they will return to either their war camp or the spire if you've unlocked it. Oh, so Barak should be around here somewhere, maybe. This fifth eye, verse Lantry and Conrad, and this is Ebb. And this is Barak. Barak stares at you through a narrow isolate, saying nothing at all. There's only evidence that he still lives in this steam of heavy exaltation, exaltations that escape the cracks to his helm. 
Uh, okay, I go right there. He continues to stare, unmoving, though you can't see his face. You get the impression that his mood has darkened even further. The stench that his armor exudes is intensifying. Uh, are you mad about something? You betrayed Graven Ash, the Legion, and our northern countrymen. As far as I'm concerned, you are a traitor to this campaign. All right. The voices of Ronath made a better case, accepted. It was my right as Tudon's fate by the to choose his side. Uh, just stand down, soldier, I guess. Something in your tone causes Barrick to reflectively straighten his posture and stand at attention. He gradually eases his stance and looks down at his palms, horrified by his automatic response. Let us be clear on one point. You have my blade, but my heart belongs to Ash and the North. I am a weapon bound to you only by duty. Nothing more. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Right, I think I'll take a break here. Yes. And uh, thank you very much for watching.